Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 5th to the 11th of April. I'm going to go straight into the channeled messages for you guys. If you wanted to skip straight ahead to the tarot, feel free to do that. But for those of you who want to listen to the channeled messages, this week for the fire signs seems quite good. I can see we are kind of going through a lot of inner searching, you know, uh, doing that kind of deep stuff. The great thing about this is spirit's kind of saying relax. Everything is happening the way it needs to. You're getting closure, you're getting clarity. There are endings happening in your life so that you can make room for new things. And it's about seeing things in a better perspective, which is gonna really benefit you this week. Now, one thing spirit said here, because we did have the octopus energy come out for the fire signs, which is kind of about being a bit everywhere. If you do feel as though your emotions are kind of intense and you feel as though you can't help but just release everything, I would really try to make sure that we have those boundaries in place for our own self. And this is great to share with people our energy from time to time, but just be very careful who you're sharing your energy with, with this octopus energy, just because it kind of, it's reminding me of like hysteria. Like we might find ourselves a little bit hysterical this week because there's so much that we're having to do on the inside. It's actually pouring out of our mouths and out of every area um, of our body because there's something about you're either overthinking too much in your mind and it's just blurting out. But also you can actually be involved with a lot of other people um, in terms of trying to help everyone else out on their things. And it's giving you even more things to think about. Either way, try to find peace in the middle of the tornado here. You know, the, the mind's eye practically is trying to speak out to you within this week, give you the answers that you're looking for, but it can only come in if you allow it, right? If you clear the space for it. Um, really good for those of you who want to meditate a little bit more, definitely opening the third eye, I can see that. Um, this is really important that we actually find a space in the room to do this with. Um, I like to meditate with my lovely little little tree back there. I love to meditate with tree just because it's good, right? They share that energy, they share that aura and they share their wisdom, which is great. But um, if you guys want to do that, feel free to. I sound like a crazy lady now, but it is what it is. Um, I would actually say you have a very deep connection though with trees. Absolutely. You do actually have a deep connection with trees. Yeah, you guys really do. You guys might have like a connection with a Libra going on around you as well. Uh, this could be a beneficial relationship. Um, this person's going to help you see things in a perspective that you haven't seen things before, whether that's love, whether that's friends, whether that's family. Um, the number four could mean something to you. This has a lot to do with home life, childhood traumas. We're healing those within this week. Sorry, you actually do have your channeled messages here, but I just went off topic. Like the tree outside was speaking to me, I swear. Anyways, right. Changes are happening around you, but you need to stay focused on what truly matters to you, okay? This feels like other people's problems, especially, especially if you don't feel like you're having much problems, um, but it's gonna cause a distraction, right? It's almost like you're trying to do your work, but something's distracting you. You're trying to focus on something and building a plan, but something's distracting you. We need to zone in within this week, okay? We need to get rid of the distractions, get rid of the blockages. What I've done recently as well is like getting rid of apps on my phone, if that's something that distracts you quite a bit, if it's food, because sometimes I comfort eat, so I get it, Leo, if you're doing this thing. It's time to kind of just make sure that all of this is outside of us. If you're trying to go on a diet per se, stop buying the foods in the cupboards so that you're not tempted to eat those. Do you know what I mean? Hide the stuff, right? Tell someone to take it away from you. Within this week, you're going to need discipline, right? Okay, this is what it is. Spirits, not scolding you, but it's disciplining you within this week. It feels like a boot camp. Like it feels as though I want you to straighten your back and, and say to you, Leo, you can do this, right? But we need a few weeks of determination and discipline and you are going to get that. Saying that though, I really do recommend you actually sort out your sleeping schedule, Leo, and I do really want you to pay attention to your dreams, but making sure that you are getting the rest that you need, okay? But this is a good, like, I really feel like I just want you to like, how can I explain this? I just want you to be more disciplined. That's how I feel like the universe is trying to speak to you. Because you have full potential to get where it is that you want to go. It's about making sure you have that balance in your personal life and, and work life. And especially if we're working from home, which I know a lot of us are because of the things that are going on in the world. But just making sure that we um do the both, right? So working between a set time and then you can go and watch Netflix. Then you can go and do the things that you want to do. But having that discipline is needed first. Listening to podcasts, by the way, guys, I always recommend this stuff because I love it and it works for me. But like podcasting and stuff, if you want to gain more acknowledgement, I don't know why they said that, but 
I meant to say knowledge. Um, if you want to get more knowledge on things that you're passionate about, listen to other people speaking about it. People who have done the research, people who know their stuff, because you will learn something from these people. Okay, this is why they go on to these shows to do it. So pay attention to the information that's out there, Leo. You don't need to do all the research yourself. Feel free to actually get the catalyst from other people to bring it into your work. You know, you need that boost of inspiration and listening to these kinds of things can actually open your mind a lot quicker than you having to do the research yourself. So uh, that's one thing I'd really recommend for you. Stay present, stay connected, stay at peace. This is about you, not everything else going on around you. You might find that work is starting to change around you too. People, the, uh, other people around you, their lives are starting to change as well. I feel out of breath, right? Um, <laughs> anything else? Some of you could be moving home, selling your houses. I'm seeing that as well. Yeah, they're reminding you here to stop and smell the roses, though. It's really, really big for you guys to do that within this week. It's about that balance. Yeah, feel free. You're on your way to work. That's fine. But remember to remember that you're still living in this world, okay? It's not just... Okay, anyways, right. You are living a new life. This is amazing. What well, should I say? You're creating a new life. I actually feel like we're waking up a little bit to consciousness, to ourselves, and to what we truly, truly want. Do not neglect your emotions, though, Leo. One thing I will say... Your emotions need to be expressed. Why? Because those are going to help you understand what you do want and what you don't want by the way that they make you feel, all right? One biggest thing that people do is neglect emotions and emotional feeling <clears throat> because they see it as a weakness, but this helps you to actually understand what you want. And it is the right to feel. It's one of your rights, okay, as a, as a human being. Uh, you're going to be glowing within this week, which is amazing. I actually feel like we're breathing new life into the world, which is great. Because of these endings, though, these are going to be catalysts for you for a new life. So some of you are really losing or have lost a lot, should I say, um, so that you can start fresh, right, with a new life, new perspective and a new you, which is great. Um, not great, it's unfortunate, but again, spirit is taking you someplace better, which is great. That's the great thing about it. Saying that, Spirit did actually say in your channeled messages, let the universe take you someplace better. So allow yourself to trust. Allow yourself to just find a routine here today and just be open to Spirit taking you someplace. Be open to Spirit bringing you in an opportunity that you need. But just allow yourself to just, you know, release a little bit. Allow yourself to let go of the need to control everything um, going on around you. You just stick to you. You just stick to you. And allow Spirit to just take you someplace. For a lot of you as well, like you're wanting to aim big and you want these big dreams and stuff, but it's the first step that's going to take you there. So again, focus on the first step. The spirit will sort out the rest and bring you the things that you need when you need it. Okay. Trust in divine timing. Um, and this is also a really good week for soulmates, by the way. Not in love. This was actually specifically to do with friends and family. There are celebrations going on around you with friends and family where you might be celebrating with them, congratulating them, or it could be them with you. Either way, this connection, these connections are gonna be very beneficial to you, your happiness, and also just bring you in a lot of gratitude, you know, because for those of you who have functional families, well, actually, no family is ever functional, but you know, healthy, healthy connections with your families. Um, it feels as, what's I gonna say with that? Why did that come in my head? With healthy, those with healthy connections with your family. Yeah, you might, you know, it's about being grateful for their existence because when they go, or like, you know, when we leave, let's say we might go to a complete another country and move elsewhere, which we might be doing, Leo, um, you know, you, you are going to miss them. So it's really about making sure that we stay connected with them, um, which is going to be great. And even for the friends as well. It's really great to be grateful for what we've got. Anyways, you are strong, Leo. Have I been calling you Aries? I hope not. Um, you're strong, all right, especially for those of you who have been really struggling to keep your head straight. Um, things are going to start improving for you, I promise, but you need to let go of the need to control it, okay? Right, let's go into your messages here and see. And for those of you who say I talk too fast, I actually really do apologize. I actually very, I'm sorry. However, <laughs> I have to get these done in 20 minutes. And I have a lot of messages coming through. Like, if I did it any slower, you guys would be with me for a whole ass hour and more, right? Which is why I create the podcast, just so I can speak more. Okay, so for you guys, I do feel like there is something going on here, right? So, one thing that Spirit has to say for what's underneath the bottom of the deck, be open to receiving. This is a great week for being open to receiving, especially because we have the Chopwood card coming out for you. 
Now, this is saying what you are manifesting is coming to life, but we need to keep going. This is not a time to give up. This is a time to, you know, really direct our focus on what it is that we want right now. Remove the distractions, remove anything that's trying to tell you this is not going to work because there is frustrations with this. The doors are starting to open here for your improvement, for whatever it is that you're wanting to come in. And for a lot of you, it's, it is going to be coming in. This is a good week to be open to it though, okay? Now, whenever this card comes up in a reading, this does say, you may feel as though the spirit is punishing you by making you feel like you're in, in your own energy, that you haven't got many people around you. This says that you are actually being protected, right? When we get pulled away from people, when we lose people, or when people aren't paying attention to us, and we feel like we're disconnected from people. This week in particular, you're going to find that you are in your own energy for a reason, because all the other things going on around you are either karmic relationships, karmic people in your life, or just things that are vibrating at a lower frequency, you're trying to elevate your frequency, staying around these kinds of people are not gonna be beneficial to you, which is why you're being protected. As you can see here in the house, it's like that gold matter, right? It reminds me of one of the other cards about understanding your self value and, and your worth here. Now you're building on this. I actually see a lot of personal development, which is amazing. This is really great for finances as well. But the reason why we feel as though nothing is going on around us is because we're moving, right? You can't see this though, it's a spiritual shift, but you are elevating higher. The worst thing we can do is step outside, right? To step outside and go back to the frequency that we was left off that. And in fact, it feels as though, because these cards come to life for me, normally this is elevating. This is the only time I've actually ever expressed the fact that if you kind of come out and go, come back down to what you're used to uh, and the people that you're used to, um, then what happens is the house has to lower itself back again for you to go back inside and do this. So you're going through a very big spiritual ascension that was a part of your purpose to go through to get to some place better, okay? This needs to happen and will be happening. No matter what you do, it just depends on what stage in your, in your life that you wanna be at. But, you know, I do feel as though you're being connected and kept safe for a reason within spirit, right? It's about you right now, not anyone else. So be open to receiving. This is great for opportunities and actual abundance within your career or anything that you're trying to manifest, especially in the home as well. We then have the TikTok card coming out as well, which is similar to what Sagittarius had coming out, which says that timing will be an issue. You will not be able to have any control over when something is happening, but what you do have control over is letting that go and just doing the work that you need to do to get there. The work that you do today will have an effect on the time, but you can't bring time forward. You can't delay time either. What you can do though, is figure out the plan. So this is what you're asking, you're being asked to do. Do not focus so much on when I'm 30, I want this done, or when in a year's time, this is what I want. Have a rough idea, but don't hate yourself if you haven't got it done in that timing because everything happens in divine timing. And the moment that you let go of that, the moment that things actually start to bring you in that success. And it falls as though, um, Leo, what you needed to do this whole time was just to let go, and now this floats up. And for me, the uh, hot air balloons, this kind of imagery, is represented by success, it's about elevation. So all you needed to do was let go, let go of that person, let go of that thing, let go of that job here that you complain about all the time. Let go of it and what's gonna happen is, this free spiritness is gonna bring you up. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but it's just gonna, it's gonna take you someplace. Um, and in fact, it might lead you towards some really good connections here. This could be good for love, absolutely, if that's something that you do want, all right? Very loyal, committed relationship. I love this card because if it is a relationship that you're trying to manifest in, I don't see it happening this week, but I do feel like we are getting closer to it. Um, what this means is that it's like the emperor and the empress, right? Or whatever you like, but it's the high-end kind of relationship. It's the top of growth, you know, it's, it's the relationship that actually brings you someplace and not drags you down or delays you or makes you stuck so this is a really positive sign that things are going to be changing for you in terms of your relationship but what you're doing now um but this is also really good for friendships around you as well especially if any of you are in like partnerships or teams this is really great especially with the work that you're doing because the both of you working together or the people that you're working with together is going to make something big happen which is quite good um let's have a little look and see within the tarot what's going on for you Right, absolutely, right. Let's see what's going on for Leo, please. Oh boy, right. Thank you. 
<clears throat> oh my gosh, what's going Oh my gosh, you guys are really focusing on love right now. Look at you daydreaming on this. <laughs> Look at you daydreaming on this. This looks like you looking at other couples, Leo, and going like, oh, I really would like that. <laughs> Then we have couples here and we also have this as well. Now, a lot of you, you are going to have a lot of love on your mind because it's something that you're having to walk away from. Um, you know, you have been hurt in the past. You know, you asked, look at this. I cannot make this up. You guys are elevating your frequency. What needed to happen is not so much to do with what you needed to do was to let go of something, let go of your need to control love coming into your life or people coming into your life or again, any kind of abundance, let go of it and it's going to start to function on its own, right? Um, when we start to do things out of fear, it becomes less pure, right? When we're chasing something out of fear, it becomes less pure. So by letting go of the need to control things and chasing things, um, and working on yourself in the meantime, this comes naturally to you, all right? But we are having to let go of this. The fact that these came out together just feels as though you're letting go of it, okay? You're having to walk away from love and emotions and abundance. Great thing is, though, you're now directing that attention on yourself. A lot of you have been definitely working super, super hard on your finances, on your work here, and you are getting a little bit... This is the distraction I was telling you in the beginning to be careful of. Because we're feeling like we're working so hard, we're just ready for the next stage. And this is just saying it's not quite time just yet. When it will be time is when we are in this abundant, you know, mindset. When we're in this abundant energy where we have our own, okay? When we step into the empress energy or emperor, whatever you want, um, is then when we can attract this loyal connection that will be a, you know, lifelong relationship most possibly. But it, there's a lot of this on your mind here. You have a choice self-love or love with others but love with others as i said it's not going to turn out very well right now right now just right now just within this week because you're moving up a little bit okay you're elevating you're ascending you're growing and you're glowing which is amazing um but i do see we are a little bit we're thinking about other things in life which is why i'm saying rein your energy back in Sometimes as well, this doesn't have to just be to do with love. It could be to do with the kind of things that we're wanting to manifest in the future, like the connections, the friendships, the people we might meet along the way. Um, one thing I want to mention to you, very similar to what I said in the beginning about having all these goals in the future is distracting you from the present. Not that we shouldn't have these, write them down when you get them. But remember that your work right now today is going to get you there, not the daydream, right? Visualizing things is great, but if you aren't doing the work to get to that visualization to make that image in, in your head a reality it doesn't really matter does it it's just a dream at that point so you guys are manifesting a dream into your reality which is great but doing the internal work on yourself is is beneficial and it's ironic because the judgment card is of letting things go it is about releasing it is about you know, finishing the end of a chapter saying, do you know what, this is a an old me, this is how the old me would have done things, this is how the new me is going to start doing things and acting like it today. Acting like it today. Can I see anything else for Leos for the week? Whew. Yeah, listening to your intuition. No longer walking away from that, okay? Because you know better. We have a lot of Piscean energy coming up here. Okay, so trusting your intuition is going to be very beneficial to you um, around this week. And also, it's, it's quite interesting, actually. Yeah, a lot of you guys might be changing your style or looks, by the way. This is good. This is a glow up, which is amazing. But transformation to do with how you present yourself um, as well. Because this is you. This is you, all strong and mighty, Leo. Okay, mysterious and everything. Very seductive. People find you very attractive. Uh, but the thing is, you're almost walking in a new direction. Um, with the high priestess, one thing I really want you to understand is that the high priestess doesn't really say a word, right? She doesn't say a word because she already knows on the inside what she needs to know. All right. So this is saying to be very mindful about uh, who you're speaking to. Okay. Because again, what you speak becomes your reality. So sometimes it's great to vent, but what you're saying out loud, if it's not got a resolution to it, it's just verbal diarrhea and it never leaves you anywhere. And in fact, what you're saying, if you're saying I'm, I'm stuck, I'm troubled, 
things are never gonna go my way, then guess what happens? Things don't go your way. So it's about changing the way that you do things. Uh, but I do actually see an actual transformation within yourself, not just your plans, within yourself this week that's gonna bring you about some positive changes, um, which is great. New beginning, amazing, amazing way to end the, uh, the reading here. This is great for travel. This is also really good for just having a really beautiful, beautiful career idea. Um, or just idea in general that's going to take you someplace amazing but you will be called to step outside your comfort zone for this to become something as big as you want it to be okay which I like actually I do some of you might need to travel for this absolutely there might be an opportunity quite far away from you so you'll have to travel for it but I see it being quite good for you as a positive uh positive thing this is from the transformation that you're accepting from the transformation that you're accepting. Do not engage in gossip within this week. Do not listen to people who want to gossip either. Stay away from these kinds of people because these are the kind of people that vibrate at that low frequency that we need to move away from, okay? Whatever you're creating, Leo, I want you to be very proud of it because it seems amazing. And it's going to be exactly where you want it, you know, it's going to go exactly where you want it to. But worrying about it, chasing things out of fear are not going to lead you in the direction that you want to go. Any advice for Leo? You guys have so much information coming in. Ah, right, very intense week for you guys, just saying. The reason why I say that, the crow jumped out on my hand, which is a really amazing card for spirituality, most importantly to do with your intuition, by the way, so you are gonna have a golden, golden, golden information coming through uh, from spirit directly. This is gonna be in the form of an idea, um, and it is gonna cause you to kind of just drop things and just do what it is that you need to do. So be ready for that when it happens, especially in your career, and prioritize yourself first. We then had the panther, panther spirit. Now, whenever this card comes out, what I will say is that it does represent almost like a tower moment. Now, the good thing about it is it didn't come up in your tower, so it's just like an overall theme for you that these things happen for a reason to remove the things that no longer are needed in your life. Do not see it as an attack against you because it is not. It is something that happens for you to get the closure, the clarity, and the um, new direction that you need to head down, okay? And with that being said, the last card that actually was showing itself to me is the cheetah energy, running and going the distance and actually being very successful. So any career projects that you have around this time that you are embarking on and doing, especially if you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, yeah, <laughs> um, you are gonna be very successful on it, but the cheetah has direct focus, right? As you can see, it's not worried about the things going on around it, eyes on a prize, Leo, within this week, it's gonna get you someplace, okay? And the reason why spirit is making shit happen around you so that you don't focus on it anymore. It's removing things so that you stop getting distracted by these people and things and start focusing on yourself so that this personal growth and development that is needed and needs to happen now, happens, okay? That is your reading for the week, Leo. I apologize if I was speaking very quickly. I should have mentioned in the beginning that YouTube has a feature to slow me down if you ever need me to, um, because I can't, okay? Otherwise I'd be here forever. I could probably talk for hours and hours, which I do, but anyways, so the merch is down below if you wanna have a little look at that. I'm actually bringing in some new things, so it'd be great if you guys could tell me what kind of things that you would like, like mugs or t-shirts, hoodies, and stuff like that, because I'm going to be adding some new designs from my amazing designer, um, which I will um, put up very soon. Apart from that, I think that's everything that I need to say for you guys. Apart from the fact that I love you. I love you, and I will see you guys next week.